Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Ann Makes. Thank you so very much for stopping by. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you. If you are new here and you would like to uh, not miss any of my haul videos or any of my crafting videos, please remember to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below or on the Ann Makes in the corner of the screen and click on that bell so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. So let's see what I got at Dollar Tree this week. My Dollar Tree had a lot of cake mixes. So I did stock up on one fudge marble by Duncan Hines. The Duncan Hines spice, mi spice cake mix and the red velvet. So we're going to have cake mix for a while. And oh, I bought th this was new at my Dollar Tree, Mrs. Butterworth's The Light Syrup. I bought this primarily for the bottle. <laughs> um, we are not big fans of this kind of syrup. We prefer the real stuff, real maple syrup. But I, I wanted the bottle. <laughs> I know we'll use this up anyway. So I got that. I picked up some of the double bubble pops these don't come very often to my store so i picked them up because i'm going to put these in some uh stockings they're going to be some stocking stuffers and i also found this is so strange because T i think tina was mentioning this in one of her videos and i was like yeah you're right she hadn't seen she doesn't see the gold foil shreds often and lo and behold i had not seen metallic foil shreds of my store either and uh when i went in this week they had they had all this gold and silver so i grabbed two of the gold but what's funny what's even funnier is that Although they're the same brand, look at the packaging is totally different and the two golds are different. <laughs> it's so funny. But anyway, it doesn't matter to me. I, I, I'm just glad I have that. And then I got a package of silver, but there's kind of like a lilac in there too. It's pretty. And then in this one, the silver, again, the other packaging. Um, yeah, so... Anyway, so I, I just didn't have any more of that. And it's great at this time of year for uh, gift baskets. It's also great for crafting and other gifts throughout the year. So I got that. Uh, new at my store were the B and Co. Uh, little like slipper socks. And they had some lots of like plain ones, you know, just solid colors but i took these i chose these ones because they have little reindeer on them so and they're well they're red and they do have the non-slip grippy things so we'll give these a try we'll see they're just they're not really slippers because they have no, no padding but they're like suckies so and these are like the thin micro polar fleece so they should keep my toesies warm I knew in my Dollar Tree, or I just never noticed it before, uh, were the prayer boxes. And they had several uh, different styles of these cute little prayer boxes. And when you open it, there's uh, a little quote inside and a cute little pad of paper that coordinates and a little pencil. So uh, this is not for me, uh, but I will be gifting this to someone that... I believe will appreciate it and in the stickers uh, there were a couple new things that were kind of stragglers I would say um, they had these shaker stickers with the bumblebees theme I don't remember seeing this one before at my stores so got that what they look like oh, I'm not doing it justice but anyway that one I also got this I never seen this one before I thought that was really really pretty it, it is diamond pop-up stickers they call them and I just thought they were really pretty 
they have a little bit of collage work in them like that and I thought these were really uh, different and pretty too uh, these are also pop-up stickers by Jot Got this. so that's it for the stickers I was very very good I got a few more of the chopping mats I've been finding different kinds of uses for these things in my craft room so I just got some more because uh, yeah just, these are really great two of these for $1.25 $1.25 because I'm in Canada dollar if you're in the US Wow great price for uh, a material that can be used in your craft room for either protecting the surface you're working on uh, also I cut these up to use them as dividers in my storage They're just yeah lots of things to do with those and there were a lot of the styrofoam fo foam shapes or yeah things like to finish uh, a craft with this is the craft medley brand again this is the craft medley by Greenbrier and that night these nice styrofoam wreaths they had quite a lot so I bought four of those <laughs> now's the time to stock up on this stuff because I I see this stuff at this time of year but not the rest of the year so I got a few of those for lots of projects I picked up some more of these elastics I chose this package because some of the packages have 12 or 15 but this one had 18 and I get black and white and I don't I use I do use some of these in my hair when I need to but I use these a lot in my craft room for keeping things together I find that these last longer than just regular rubber bands and so if I'm trying to keep a little box shut that's full of small embellishments or beads or something uh, I'd rather use this because it, it's a little bit more secure that's just what I do I finally bought these I hesitated to buy them every time I saw them they've been there for weeks um, the jot art foam roller with tray I do think these are a really good price a good deal it's just I thought I already had something like this in my stash and I I don't know where I put them so I just thought I better pick some up again because I'll regret it if I don't plus uh, they each have a tray which I don't have a lot of little trays so I thought well it's two in one so these are art foam roller with tray they were with the like the crafting supplies and each roller there were four styles uh, if you could see that each of the foam rollers are carved this one two and this one so these are great for kids for doing uh, printing on paper with some paint uh, but also these are great if you do mixed media and you're doing backgrounds it's also these are excellent to use on your gel plate uh, your gel gelatin printing plate for doing prints it's it's a lot of it's a great tool to have and very very inexpensive you can buy similar tools like this in the art store and trust me it's way more than a dollar 25 just saying <laughs> they might they might be made more of a silicone or a firmer type of foam mind you but yeah I'd rather pay $1.25 so oh these showed up at my store so I was pleased to see them the little fancy frames they had them in silver and gold so I got two of the square ones and two of the round ones in silver I don't know if I want to get the gold because I, basically I could just spray paint these any color I want and I, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them, but I just thought I needed to get them because these would be good to use uh, as frames, of course, but also as an embellishment as part of a, a bigger project. So yeah, I got that. Um, oh, I ran out of white duct tape. 
again. <laughs> so I got another roll. Um, this is the Nasco Dollar Tree white duct tape. Again, I will, I will warn you, this brand is not very good for actually holding stuff together, but I use it mostly to uh, cover little boxes and bins and baskets. So I, you know, just to make them look a little cleaner. So yeah, that's why I got that. There was one and only one of the little Merry Christmas with the little truck uh, candy boxes. Last year I had hauled several of these, but I gave them all away. And this year I was like, oh, I should have kept one for me just because it's so cute. It's such a cute box. And so that's what I did. So this one is just for me. I don't mind giving away the chocolate. I just want to keep the box. <laughs> um, my store had a whole bunch of new books. There wasn't anything good, really. There was nothing crafty and how-to or good cooking books. It was a lot of weird books. But I saw this one, and it's all about penguins. And uh, so it's, a, it's a cute little book. It's just about every different uh, species of penguin that there is. I hope it's every single one of them, but I don't know how many penguins there are in the world. But uh, yeah, so I picked this up because I know some people who really like penguins and I just thought this would be a really cute little uh, gift for them for Christmas. And oh, uh, they had some, they brought in some more of the Travel size secret deodorants. So I picked up a couple of those. So I will have them in my uh, trap, my stash for traveling. I like to use these in my carry on because they're small and they fit in my little bag with my other liquids when I go through security. So I like that. And they got these at my Dollar Tree finally. These are the um, what they call these? They call these the toilet sprays. Uh, <laughs> before you sit, keep the stink in the bowl. Okay, so this one is... This one is fresh citrus scent. I haven't sniffed it yet, so I don't know. So I got that. And the other one is... I guess it's lilac lavender vanilla lavender vanilla so I got a few of those and I got a little box to store them in so I got this little box and they do they do stand up in this so got this and oh last but not least but the best of the best I got a couple dairy milks with almonds <laughs> So that's it for my Dollar Tree haul. I hope uh, you found something interesting in there for yourself. And if you did like this video, uh, I would so appreciate a thumbs up. Please like, please comment, please share. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, stay crafty. Bye.